Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my eyeshadow palette collection and declutter video. I don't know how many palettes I'm going to declutter, but I know there's some that I do not want to keep in my collection. So I'm going to be going through those. I will be listing some of these on my Poshmark, and then I will also have friends that I've decluttered in the past or swapped in the past, see if they want to do a swap or anything like that. So if you want to check any of these palettes out or purchase any of these, definitely check out my Poshmark. I have it in my description box. So yeah, if you love palette declutters, definitely continue watching. Also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, and let's just go ahead and jump right in. Wow. So if you watch my Shop Mustache videos, you know that these... Are all eyeshadow palettes so i have kind of um drugstore mix of indie and drugstore i like having mine out like this but it's not very practical for me and it's taking too much room so i definitely have to start condensing the way or like rearranging the way that it is there is big horse flies in here oh man he moved <laughs> i just smacked him onto a wall <laughs> I'm sure he'll stand up somehow. We'll see if he makes another appearance. <laughs> I killed one before I started. That's funny. And then this one is well. I don't know how many. I'm getting rid of some, but I don't know if it's going to be a ton. So, yeah. I do have some palettes up here. So, we're just going to start actually with ones right here. And go from there. So, the first one I have right here is my Natasha Denona Ayana palette. I actually really like this palette. So, I am going to keep. This one, uh, Huda Beauty Khaki Haze palette. Um, this was actually decluttered by my friend and passed along to me. And I like the mattes, but the shimmers aren't that great in here. And I can see why she decluttered it, if it was because of the shimmers. I don't know. I would have to ask her, but um, I don't know. I keep debating whether to get rid of it or not. I think I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. Next up, I have the Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 2 palette. Oh my god, this is really nice. I've only used the mattes and shimmers. I haven't used the cream shades in here, but definitely keeping and I really like. I have a couple more right here, so let me pull these up. This is the Jaclyn Luxe Legacy eyeshadow palette. This was a collab with her mom. I don't like the formula of this palette, so I think I'm going to declutter it. I got this for free. I used Ulta points and got a whole bunch of stuff from the collection. I don't know. I just wasn't impressed with the formula. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to declutter that. Next up, I have the Muse Beauty Triumph of Venus. I really wanted to try the brand, so they had, like, a buy one, get one free palette. I have another one that I haven't used yet, and I used this one because I was, like, more attracted to the color story. But I wasn't impressed with the formula, and now I don't even know if I want to use the other palette I got because most likely it's going to be the same formula. But... Glam Light's a formula that I'm, like, not impressed with the first palette I tried, but the second one I tried was good, so I don't know. But this one, again, I'm going to declutter. Um, I wasn't impressed, again, with the formula, so that's going to go. Um, Dirty Martini by Glam Light. Okay, let's talk about this palette first. This is the Glam Light Michaela palette. I really love the color story in here, and... I created beautiful shimmery looks with some of these shades, but like this color and this color doesn't really show up on my eyelids. Um, these purples were kind of like patchy on the lids. This one was kind of patchy, like not very long lasting shimmer on the lid. So this was definitely a miss for me. Like I love the color story and I'm tempted to keep it because lately people have been raving about this palette, but I used it for two weeks in my shop, my stash, and it just didn't work out for me. So I'm going to declutter this. Yeah, I'm just going to declutter this. But on the other hand, I used the Dirty Martini from Glam Light, and I actually really liked the formula on this one. Like, I used both of the palettes at the same time, so I can compare formulas while I was using them. And this one is way better formula. So I'm going to keep this one, but I'm going to get rid of my Michaela palette. Another palette I have here, maybe I should take this off because it looks ugly with that is this Cleona Cosmetics and Emily Violet Marie Dragon Fruit Palette. I've never tried Cleona, so when I saw they were coming out with a palette, I decided to pick it up. This is very beautiful, and I love it, so definitely keeping this. This is the Unearthly Cosmetics Leather and Lace Palette, and I find that the formula I is kind of on the drier side. I really love their color combinations, but again, their formula isn't like... 
wow or like overly pigmented or anything you can build them up but for now i am going to keep okay that's it these are some eyelashes that i picked up that i haven't even used so we're gonna go to the drawer i had two palettes up here i don't know if you guys saw them but we're gonna start off with this abh norvina i haven't used it in a while and i've debated on decluttering this as well but i think i'm gonna give it a chance because it's cute and compact so we're gonna keep that and then this one by dose of color snow angels I'm decluttering. Um, I just don't reach for it. And it's just been chilling up there for a little bit because I've been meaning to declutter and I have it. So this is going to get decluttered. Okay. So these are more like kind of drugstore indie kind of palettes. So the first one I have here is my Sonic Bloom by ColourPop. I love this color story. I love the packaging as well. I think it's so pretty. And I'm definitely keeping this. Um, next up is my Dream Street Palette in collab with Kathleen Lights. Definitely love this, not going anywhere. I also have this All That Palette, and I love the packaging. I think it's so beautiful. And the color story is really, really nice as well, so keeping. Lush Life by ColourPop. I keep my inserts, so you'll be seeing a lot of those. Um, this is beautiful. I love how vibrant it is. I remember when it first came out, I was like, wow. I need that palette and yeah it's really really nice this next palette here i'm debating on decluttering or not i think it's really pretty i, I think i'm just gonna have to keep it packaging's pretty this is the a flutter palette by ColourPop. it's so beautiful i just have to keep this i can't get rid of that <laughs> next up i have the at forest sight by raw beauty christy and this is pretty fun at first i thought i would want to declutter it but i used it in a shop my stash about a month or so ago and actually really enjoyed it so I am keeping this for sure. Next up, I have the Nightmare Before Christmas palette. I had to pick this up last year when they came out. I do wish they had like a bright green shadow. I feel like that's missing in the palette. But overall, I think it's fun, dark. That's how the movie is. But I definitely think they should have put a bright green, maybe instead of this like gold color. I don't know. But it's definitely missing the bright green in my eyes. So... What do you guys think? Do you guys think it's missing the bright green as well? Did you guys pick this palette up? I keep the packaging on certain things, especially if they're like limited edition, because why not? Okay. Plush Like Me. This was gifted to me by a friend for Christmas or for my birthday. I'm not sure, but I love this palette. This is my kind of color story. Very nice palette. I am definitely keeping this. Lemoncello. I really like this color store. It's very pigmented and really, really nice. And let's see, I have more back here. Garden Variety. So this one, I kind of rearranged some shadows. Um, I think I am going to go ahead and declutter this palette. I don't use it. Um, I kind of need some deeper like colors like this for my freelance. So we'll see if I, because I have Stone Cold Fox in my freelance kit. And I feel like it's missing some like ma like uh, burgundy colors. So I kind of wanted to go through my collection and see what I could switch out. But yeah, I love this color story. I think it's, I mean, the packaging is so pretty. But now looking at the color story, it's kind of rambled. So I'm going to get rid of this. And definitely not getting rid of my Hocus Pocus palette. So pretty like and grungy and beautiful. Definitely keeping this. A big palette I have from uh, ColourPop is the So Jaded. I need to pick this. I need to use this more because it's been a while. I have a ton of palettes, but <laughs> yeah, I, I like this, so I'm not going to get rid of that. I'm going to try to find a way to rearrange my palettes so more fit because I'm kind of taking too much space the way I have them. I don't know if I'm going to keep them this way, but... We need some room because I have more palettes. Okay, so this is the Ornate by ColourPop. It's actually really pretty, but I have these shades everywhere in my collection. You'll see them multiple times. So I think I might get rid of this palette. And I might put some of these colors in that Stone Cold Fox palette again. So I'll put it on the maybe pile because I'm not sure. <laughs> Definitely keeping my Uh Huh Honey palette. This is super nice. I wish I had like a deeper brown, which... I wouldn't use that color, so I would probably just like replace it with a dark brown maybe up there. So I have it. I kind of pair both of these together when I use them. I like that this has like the dark brown that I want. 
but I definitely don't need both. But I like this color story a little better than this one just because I feel like it needs darker browns to create a look. I was thinking about getting rid of this, but now I don't know if I want to. But yeah, this is all my money. Then I have the It's My Pleasure, which is super pretty and purple. And then Main Squeeze is the red colors, which is really nice and pigmented. And then this one, the High Tide, is super nice. I really like this color story as well. So we're going to probably put those right here. We'll see if I rearrange. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. I don't think I need this palette, so we're just going to get rid of this. And then this one, I used to take it with me to travel, but I think we're just still going to keep keep it. <laughs> okay, Give Me Glow Juicy Olive Palette. I have a couple palettes with this green color story, so I am going to actually declutter this palette. Vintage Rose is super pretty. I love the color story in here. And then this one is Vivid Rose. This was uh, rearranged um, when I bought it off of Poshmark. I love the color story in here. This color is so beautiful. Do you see the green shift? It's so nice. Um, there's a few shades in here that don't belong in here, but definitely keeping this. And then my last Give Me Glow palette I have in here is the Bad Witch Club, which is so beautiful. I love this palette. I do wish it had more... Maybe like a couple neutral shades in here, but overall I really like it. Okay, I got the Cinderella palette by Sigma Beauty, which I really love and I'm definitely keeping. It's so pretty. Um, all the shades in here are really pigmented besides this purple color right here. And I think this purple too. It's kind of on the drier side, but everything else in here is really pigmented and nice. So yeah, we're just going to Another uh, Sigma palette I have is the Magnifique, which is also actually really nice. Um, I've used this to travel and I really like it. So keeping. I have the Blend Bunny Cosmetic Surge palette. How beautiful is this color story? Super fun. I need to pull this out again. I also have the Dollhouse. I have a new palette drawer. That I'm not going to be including in this video. I think I'm going to do a separate video and kind of declutter maybe some of those palettes. Possibly do a giveaway. So definitely stay tuned. But we're keeping this for sure. Oh, we have the BH Cosmetics Venom palette. This is actually really nice. But I don't think I need this in my collection. I don't have very many cool tone shades though. We're going to put this in the maybe pile. So far we got three palettes. This is the LA Girl Main Stage Desert Dream Palette. Okay, so I like the shimmers in here more than the mattes. I think I'm going to keep it though because I don't really have like these deep colors. And these are so beautiful. So I really like this palette. Okay, BH Cosmetics Zodiac Palette. I love this palette. It's so nice. And I'm going to declutter it. Like, I was thinking, when I started filming, I'm like, I already know I'm going to declutter my BH Cosmetics palettes, the two big ones I have, because I rarely use them. But I think I'm going to keep this one. I need to keep this one. I'm going to keep this one. But I am going to declutter this one. Hopefully, before I open it, I'm not like, oh, I'm going to keep it. So this is the Naughty palette. But yeah, I'm definitely going to declutter this one. So yeah, I'm okay getting letting this one go. This one's actually really nice. And I haven't used all of the shades very much in here. It's a really nice palette, but again, I have all these shades everywhere, so we're going to get rid of this one, and we're going to keep the Zodiac one, because it's just really pretty to get rid of. And then I also have the Blueberry Muffin palette, which I'm definitely keeping. It's so beautiful. I love this palette. Keeping. Okay, and then we have two Juvia's Place palettes left. This is a Tribe palette. Um, I used to have a lot of Juvia's Place palettes, but I only have these two left. Really pretty, and then I have the Nomad as well, so definitely keeping both of those. Like laying these down, I have like so much more room. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. I just loved having everything like out. Some of these palettes, um, drawers, I think I will still be able to do that, but I don't know. I just have more room here, so okay. Next drawer. <laughs> so, first up, I have the Butte. Bean Time Stroud, it's freaking Bats palette. I waited months for this palette. <laughs> Definitely not getting rid of it. I love this palette. It's really, really nice. 
Pure by Robbie De Christi. Okay, I have a dilemma with this because I always think that I can just get rid of this palette. But then I open it and I love these, this side of the palette. But this side's like me, you know? Like, I have colorful shades. I just like love this side. And I really honestly was thinking about decluttering it, but I just really love this side. So I think I'm going to have to keep it and then use it again to see if I want to declutter. So I think this is just going to have to survive the declutter this time around. I have this Violet Boss. I don't even know what it's called. Palette that came in an Ipsy box. And I actually really like this to travel. Like these are my kind of colors. So we're going to keep that. Okay, I have the Odin's Eye Red Dragon palette in collab with Judy. I don't follow her, so I'm not really sure who she is. <laughs> but so beautiful color story. Like, again, my kind of shades. I also have the Annette collab, the Giant Wolves palette. And more grungier color story. I keep my insert sky some. Yeah. And then lastly, I have the Hella palette in collab with Angelica Nyquist. I don't know how to say her name, but this is beautiful. It's really, really nice. And the pigment's super nice too. So keeping for sure. What's back here? Oh, single shadows. Ooh, this is pretty. Uh, we're keeping this. Mix of like Signe Grace, Makeup Geek, ColourPop, a few ABH shadows, I believe. I really like the way I arranged this, so we're keeping that. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this palette. I never use it. I've had it in my collection and I don't reach for it. I've used it a few times, but I'm definitely ready to let this one go. This is the um, Lick and Lash Beauty Playful Palette. Again, I don't use it and I have it in a while, in a few months, so we're gonna get rid of that. I don't really use this one either, but I don't think I wanna declutter this. This is like the OG formula. I have another one in my freelance kit. That's the OG formula as well, and I don't even use it in my freelance kit. I don't know if I want to get rid of it. I feel like I need to keep it. <laughs> so we'll leave this back here. Okay, Disney's Encanto Alamar palette. This is actually really fun, but when I used it, I feel like it was kind of like different for me, like color combinations, but I just got it not too long ago, so I'm gonna keep. This is the Adept Heather Austin collab which is very beautiful. I love the shimmers in here. The mattes are not good. I don't really like the mattes, but we're gonna keep that. I also have the Plain Jane palette by um, Adept Cosmetics, and this is beautiful, definitely keeping it. Um, this is a Quintessence Light. It's so fun and grungy. I don't really reach for this palette, but I don't want to get rid of it, so I'm <laughs> gonna keep that. And then Laura Lee times Erin Candy Skies palette. This is fun, honestly. Like eventually I think I could declutter it, but I think I'm gonna keep it for a little bit longer. Okay, so I have these um, Nomad palettes. This is the uh, Tokyo palette. I wasn't, I was mostly impressed with the shimmers in here, but the mattes were okay. I think I can declutter this. We're going to declutter. We'll be okay. This one, I actually want to get the other palette that came out that has like these kinds of colors. I feel like I need to use this again. I'm not a big fan of gold colors, but I, I want to use these these colors again, again. So again, again, again. <laughs> um, we're going to keep this palette. This is the Essence Never Give Up Your Daydream palette, which wasn't available for very long. I, I don't think I want to get rid of it though. Um, it's mostly like pastel -y, like shifty light shades, but I don't really reach for it, but still, <laughs> I have that. <laughs> okay, um, this is the Made by Mitchell Feet on the Ground. This is super nice. I have so many nice palettes that should I be keeping palettes that I'm like, eh, they're okay. Maybe I shouldn't, huh? Okay, but this one's for sure staying. This one's really nice. I have the Flower Beauty Desert Lights palette. This is so nice. These shimmers are really good. Really like that. Um, Menagerie Cosmetics Fer Menagerie Cosmetics Ferro palette. I really like this palette. Um, this is Indigo Ink by Menagerie. This is my favorite Menagerie Cosmetics palette I have. I love everything. 
all the shades that are in here are super nice like definitely not getting rid of but on the other hand killer purr is gonna go um i did kind of rearrange some shades in here and kept some of the shades but um other than that this one's actually gonna go so yeah alien cosmetics not normal palette i'm just looking at it and i'm like hmm you could probably get rid of this we'll put this in the maybe pile i don't know i'm not feeling it right now so we'll see okay this is the uh, no i was gonna say adept this is hip dot the zion palette this one's actually really nice now looking at it in person i don't think i want to get rid of it it's actually really pretty and i remember loving the formula when i was using it so we're gonna keep that Mel Thompson collab with Sydney Grace. This is a Tiny Marvels palette. Definitely keeping this. It is not going anywhere. Okay, these are my beach um, Beauty Bay palettes. This is a Wilderness palette. So fun and grungy. I also have Age of Opulence. I need to use more. Very beautiful color story. And then I also have this Made by Mitchell palette which I've kind of debated on getting rid of. I think people have at, like DM'd me to see if I would sell it to them. <laughs> but I think I'm just gonna keep it. I'm sorry guys that you guys want this, but I do too. <laughs> okay, I have the Urban Decay Naked Ultraviolet palette. I kind of, I keep decluttering this and bringing it back into my collection because I actually, I believe this was the first palette I ever got from Urban Decay and PR. I kind of want to keep it because of that, but I'm going to put this in the let's think about it pile. This one, the Stone Vibes from Urban Decay is actually really nice. I like the shimmers a lot. The mattes are on the drier side, but the shimmers are really nice, so I definitely want to keep that one. Um, Melt Cosmetics Smoke Sessions. Mine is looking crazy. It's getting crazy. I picked this up when it first came out and it wasn't getting puffy like it is now. So, yeah, we're going to keep this for now. But once it keeps making messes around here, then it's probably going to have to go. This is the Viseart Violet Nintendo palette. This is beautiful. I love this palette. Definitely keeping. I also really love this other Vizier palette I have. This is the Mats Milieu palette. It's so pigmented and really, really nice. Definitely really love it. Uh, this is the Melt Cosmetics Millennial Pink palette. I actually really like this palette. Um, it's actually really nice. I like the color story as well. The pinks and the blues. I think it's super nice. Also have Melt Gemini, which is really beautiful melt muerte is here definitely oops keeping not getting rid of this one on the other hand i never use mm, i actually was thinking about picking up a palette that kind of had these tones and i have those tones here i don't know we're we're gonna keep it still but it might get decluttered in the future naughty nude by huda beauty is beautiful keeping. <laughs> rose quartz is beautiful as well. I got this for Christmas from a friend. This is really beautiful. It's really nice. I like it a lot. NARS Climax Palette. I remember like hunting this down and when I saw it come back in stock, I picked it up. But then when I used it, I wasn't like impressed with it. I don't know because I had this NARS palette first, the Cool Crush, and I was like blown away. But I feel like it's missing like some deep browns in here. We're gonna keep this one for sure, and I'm definitely gonna keep this one too because we just got to. <laughs> and then this one's the Melt Amor Eterno collab. This one's really nice. It's a pigment palette, I believe. So it's really pigmented and nice, and I really like it. So we're gonna keep this. Lunar Beauty Eternal Eclipse palette. This is so beautiful. I love it. I got it for Christmas from a friend one year as well. So definitely keeping. And then I also have my Moon Spell by Lunar Beauty. I need to pull out and use. So pretty. I really like this palette. Definitely not getting rid of it. I've seen a couple people declutter this palette. I'm like, well, that's cool, I guess, if you want to declutter and let somebody else buy it from you. So... I have two more busy art palettes here this one is the rose edit yeah paris edit it's really beautiful 
rosy colors and then dark edit which i need to use a little more so you know what was that the one this one kind of reminds me of the khaki haze so i might get rid of it i might get rid of khaki haze because the mats were fine it was the shimmer shades mm, we'll see okay if you've been subscribed to me or watched my declutter videos, you know why I picked these emeralds or not, what is it called? Gemstone obsessions because of my family. Emeralds, my daughter, July is me, and Topaz is my husband. I don't use this. I just keep keeping it because I bought it for sentimental reasons. And I'm not ready to let go. So they're staying. <laughs> Uh, this one, the Medium Nude by Huda, actually I really like. Yes, okay, I'm going to get rid of Khaki Haze because I have this one and I love the shimmers in this and the mattes. So Khaki Haze is going to go. And then uh, Wild Jaguar. This one's okay. It's on the drier side. I got this for Christmas as well, I believe. So we'll keep these for now. Okay, Sugar Pill um, Fun Size. It's a fun pastel palette that I need to use more. And then I also have this Pat McGrath uh, Venus and Fleur palette. I keep in the packaging. I keep like most of my Pat McGrath palettes in their packaging because they're so beautiful. Like I'd rather have the beautiful packaging than just like black like this, even though this is nice too. But this is again Venus and Fleur or Voyeuristic. I don't know. Yeah, Venus and Fleur Voyeuristic Fixin. So nice. Definitely keeping this baby i saw someone um i think this was like sold out and i saw someone selling it on their poshmark for like 25 dollars. so i was like hmm that's like a really good price <laughs> bridgerton collab with pat mcgrath it's okay it wasn't my favorite i kind of wish the second collab the one with the yellow packaging was this first one and came with the yellow um shimmer because I felt like it was missing a yellow shimmer for Penelope. And then they came out with like a collab palette like for her. Which again, I'm not like 100 for this palette. But I'm definitely not going to get rid of it. Because I really like Bridgerton. This one I think I'm going to get rid of. This is the Pat McGrath Mothership Sublime. Um, oh my god, I always say I'm going to get rid of it. And then I look at it and it's so pretty. I need to use it. This is beautiful. You see red, but I see bronze. Okay, I was going to get rid of it, but not anymore. <laughs> KK Beauty Camo Palette. This is really nice. I was actually surprised that I liked this formula. Because I had uh, the Classic Palette by her, and I didn't like it at all. So I was kind of iffy when I picked this one up, but this is actually really nice. I also have the Lime Prime Greatest Hits Fingers Palette. All of their, like, most loved shadows from all of their palettes are in one. And, um... We're going to keep this. I think eventually I'll probably declutter it. Venus XL. I believe last time I used this, I thought it wasn't as pigmented as it once was. I don't remember. No, it's probably... I, it's the same formula. I need it. I'm kind of debating on... Mm. It's so pretty though. <laughs> Pat McGrath Mothership. This is the first one. Very nice. I wish I had more mats in there though. But this one right here, I actually like more than the first one. Um, this one's definitely more wearable and it's actually nicer packaging as well. But again, it's really pretty and I like both of the palettes. Okay, so I have a uh, Pat McGrath Mothership 9. Um, Utopian Dream. There's still another fly in here. And this is what this one looks like. This one's so beautiful. I love these two. Shimmers, they're so beautiful. And I have these ones over here too. Uh, this one's the first one. Uh, subliminal. More of a cool tone palette. Very nice. I actually got this. I got like three palettes during their glitch of the 50% off. Um, was this another one that I got? No, I, got, I, think, I don't think I got this one for 50% off. This one is the Divine Rose. This one's really pretty too. I really like this one. I was trying to rearrange while I'm just like doing this to, uh, collection video, but I might as well just continue on and rearrange when I'm done. So this one's the um, Bronze Seduction. This one's really pretty as well. I think this is my first big Pat McGrath palette. This one's really nice. It shifts like 
yellow to green. It's really, really pretty. Then I also have Divine Rose 2, which I have the limited edition packaging. This shade fell out of the pan when I was hauling it. Very sad, but it's really pretty. I don't think this is like my favorite color story of the ones I have though, but I love the packaging. And then my last one, I think I have two other Pat McGrath palettes in my new makeup drawer, but this is what's in my collection right now. And stuff that's in my new palette drawer, sometimes I decide not to keep it, so I don't really want to count it in this video, but I think I'm going to do another video just showing you guys what's in the new palette drawer and possibly declutter some of those palettes. This is Midnight Sun. This is another one of my favorites in my collection. So beautiful. So, yeah. I also have this little one here, the Eye Ecstasy Sublime. I actually really like this palette. These two shimmers are really nice, and I just use that too. Um, deep in the outer corner, it's pretty pigmented for being a little small palette here. I have two Dose of Colors palettes. This is the Sassy Sienna's, which I actually really like. And then I have cutting the Cutting Edge palette, which it's not bad. It's cute. But, yeah. Okay, these are my Natasha Denona palettes. This is the Glam face palette in dark this was also a gift from a friend for christmas and i really love this palette so beautiful good perfect travel palette this is the bronze palette it's really nice i feel like a lot of the shades look similar but it's still really pretty then i have the gold palette which mine is kind of rearranged a little bit these shades here don't belong in here but doesn't it make it like more fun I don't know. I really like the color combination I have there now. Um, this is a Trio Chrome palette, which is actually really fun. I need to play with that again. And then this one, my husband got this one for me for Valentine's Day one year. This is really nice. The pigment on these shimmers are so good. I need to play with this palette. I probably should pick this in my next show, my stash. I wonder if this is the most expensive palette I have. Yeah, for sure, because it's what, $239? Definitely. It is. One more drawer left to go through, guys. Over here is my Kaleidos palettes. So this first one is the Cyber Bronze. So this is Cyber Bronze. It's so beautiful. I really like their formula. It's really nice. And then I have um, Sci-Fi Green, which is actually really nice as well. This one is Astro Pink. This one's fun. I like this one a lot. This one is Neon VR. Or VR Neon. <laughs> this one's really fun. I don't think this one lasted very long. It's really fun. These are duochromes. I don't know. They're really pretty and reflective. This one is the Future Sashimi City. I actually really like this. I wish I had a deeper brown in here. But overall, it's really nice. This one's a good travel palette, too. This one is the Lunar Lavender palette. This one's okay. The matte purples aren't that nice, to be honest. So, I like these, though. These are nice. And then lastly, from this little one, uh, this is Electro Turquoise. Really fun palette. I really like this one, too. Club Nebula. I collab with... Whoa. Angelica Nyquist. I don't know how to say your last name. So this one's really beautiful. Definitely not going anywhere. And then I have the Escape Pod. I don't really use this. But you know what? These are kind of the shades that are in the Robbie de Christie palette. And I love these shimmers. So I wonder if I should get rid of the Robbie de Christie palette. I don't really reach for this palette though. Hmm, something to think about. <laughs> okay, Carnival 3 by Be Perfect. This is so fun and colorful. Definitely love it. Blood Sugar by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is actually a really good palette. I saw the white packaging one and the shades just stand out so much more. I kind of wish this wasn't like a black packaging because I feel like 
Like, I was tempted to get the white packaging one, but I was like, girl, you already got the red one. You do not need to spend on the white packaging, especially that it's just going to get really dirty. Conspiracy, I've debated multiple times on getting rid of, but the color story is really nice, so we're getting, we're keeping it. Uh, Jawbreaker. I don't feel like I need this in my collection, so I think I want to get rid of it. I think we're going to get rid of it. I don't remember the last time I used this. And I have a whole bunch of reds everywhere. I have a pastel palette. I think I'm going to get rid of this. I debated on putting this in my freelance kit. But I don't really do a lot of color. It's really rare. I usually do browns. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to get rid of this. And then I thought about getting rid of this one too. The Tati Beauty Volume 1. But I feel like I kind of want to keep it. I don't know. Let me see. I just don't like that it's like, I felt like the metallic and the sequins were kind of like similar. Like the metallics aren't really that much metallic-y. These uh, glitters are actually nice. Hmm, I'm going to probably do another declutter by the end of the year. So if I don't use it by then, I might just get rid of this. So we're just going to keep this for now. And I have the Jeffree Star Weirdo palette, which is a fun, like, perfect fall type of palette. Uh, I'm going to keep this. I have Ace Bute Oceanic palette. Really nice. I love the um, looks I've created using this palette. So definitely going to keep this as well. Okay. I always debate on keeping it or decluttering it. I think I'm just going to go ahead and declutter. This is the Dose of Colors in collab with uh, Desi and Katie. I don't remember the last time I used this. Um, so definitely check out my Poshmark. Possibly will be there. And then this one too, the Artist Couture Supreme Nudes. I Every time I've used it, I don't like the formula. It's really dry for me and I don't like it. So I'm going to get rid of both of these. Latte 2 by Dominique Cosmetics. She has a really good formula. I really like this palette. I need to use it more. Um, I remember when everybody wanted this palette and like the hype is gone now, I guess. Uh, Colored Rain, Queen of Hearts. I kind of don't feel like I need this palette either. I'm going to... I don't know. I'm just not feeling it right now. Like, I feel like I don't need this palette. So, I think I'm going to declutter it. I'll be okay without it. Master Palettes by Mario. This is super old. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> ABH Sultry. Love. Subculture. I have a love-hate relationship with this palette. <laughs> I love the color story, though. Soft Glam was another one that was gifted to me um, for my birthday or Christmas, I'm not sure. Really nice palette. And then lastly, Jackie Ina palette. It's really pretty, but I never use this palette. I need to use this. I need to do, like, uh, putting some palettes aside to see what I need to keep using. This is the ABH um, Primrose palette. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Super pigmented. Really nice palette. I love it. I'm keeping it. And then lastly over here, I have a few more palettes left. This is a P. Louise Secret Center. I never reach for this palette because it's so big and bulky. Like, who needs a palette this size? I should leave it out as, like, decoration for sure. I just don't reach for this ever. Um, I think I'm going to declutter this, but I just don't ever want to reach for it because of how bulky it is, but I'm just going to keep it because it was a gift. <laughs> I just hate the packaging. Um, ABH Norvina Volume 5. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Love it. Um, this one's Volume 3. Do I need this? Um, I might put this in my freelance kit eventually. Yeah, this might be good for my freelance. And then, um, volume one is beautiful. Okay, we're over here in the maybe pile. Kind of trying to organize and I was like, girl, you can organize later. Um, and I decided to go ahead and declare these four palettes as well. So maybe we should go through these. Again, this is the Line Crime Greatest Hits Bangers palette. It's a nice palette, but um, I have all these shades in my collection. And then this is the Venus XL. Um, again, I have these shades in my collection. I don't need a dedicated palette of just that color. So we're going to get rid of 
of those. I might put this back into my collection. We'll see. But then I'm also going to be getting rid of these two Kaleidos palettes. This is the uh, Cyber Bronze palette. Looks like that. And then I'm going to get rid of Sci-Fi Green as well. I just have a lot of these uh this color story so we're gonna get rid of both of those so these are this is our maybe pile so urban decay ultraviolet honestly i feel like i'm more keeping it because of it was my first ever urban decay palette i think i'm just gonna go ahead and keep it because i kind of don't want to get rid of it alien cosmetics I've only really used this like a handful of times, so I should probably keep it and give it more use. I think there's, I'm going to pull out some palettes that I'm not sure about and like keep using them. Um, this is the Venom palette by BH Cosmetics. This one is nice, but I can, I'll be okay without it. Ornate. I love the packaging, but again, these colors are everywhere in my collection, so I think I'll be okay without it as well. Khaki Haze is for sure going. The shimmers are not good. Color Rain, Queen of Hearts. I'm going to give this one another chance. I don't know if I said I was decluttering this. I think I did, but these colors are kind of wanting me to keep it. I believe the last time I used it, I was like, oh, it's okay. We're going to get rid of it. We're going to get rid of it. Okay. And these two were for sure goodbyes. And this one, I don't need it in my collection. I think I'm going to declutter it. Possibly put it in my makeup kit. Yeah. Okay. So, we decluttered 1, 2, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 palettes. Yeah. We declare 23 palettes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video.